Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the GNU GWO. This board features Mervin's Banana Traction technology, which is center reverse camber with Magna Traction. So what you're going to get is a more loose feel of the board. It makes it easier to do presses, as well as kind of roll in and out of turns and giving you optimal powder float. It gives you a skate style pop, but you're going to sacrifice a little bit of drive from this board just due to that camber profile. This board is available at 147, 150, 153, 156, 159, 156 wide, 159 wide, 162 wide. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on a somewhat sunny bluebird day. There was clouds kind of rolling through. There was low winds, warmer temps, slush, chop, chunder, a little bit of hero snow on the groomers and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So the overall flex of this board comes in just below the middle of the road. You got way more flex out in the tips and then about two inches back from the tip kick, it starts to stiffen up through the middle. With it being reverse camber, it's still not overly stiff. That camber really does give it some play and the torsional flex is highly abundant. You can really twist this board. Now the surprising thing about this board is that it's stable to a point. On a groomer, yeah, you get some tip flap, but it doesn't fully resonate back underfoot. And if you keep your knees mildly bent, you're not gonna notice it. And it's stable enough that if you hit like a really frozen lumpy chunder bump, it'll plow through it. And if you know what you're doing, that's good because you're not gonna get booked around. If you don't, you're gonna die. Now, would I charge into a fully rutted out mogul field of doom with this thing full speed? No, not at all. This thing will fold and you'll die. You'll just die. That's that's how it's gonna be. So here's the thing about the pop with this board. If you're lazy and laid back, you're still gonna get in the air. But if you're a little more calculated and you understand how to roll back on that reverse camber and engage that tail to spring, you're gonna boost. This board actually has more pop in it than I thought it would actually have. It really does get you up in the air. You can launch a side hit, cat track gap, roller, whatever, you're going to be able to boost. And when it comes to jumps, smaller features are better, maybe even some medium stuff. It's just, it's center reverse. It's not going to land that great on a steeper, bigger landing. There's enough pop to get you up off the lip. The cool thing overall with the pop on this board is that it's very skate-like. You don't have to really think about loading it up. You just sort of roll back and pop and you're in the air. And if you do think about it and you want to be calculated, you're going to boost. So the cool thing about this board is that it's center reverse camber with softer tips. That makes it highly butterable. If you're just starting out, you're learning how to butter, this is a great little cheater board to kind of get used to the motions. And when you press on the tail or the nose, there's still just enough spring to pop you back out. What I love doing with this thing was popping a front side 180, landing on the nose, pushing into it, popping back out, Landed on the tail, holding that press and just feeling it locked. I mean, that center reverse, it's naturally bent. You lean back, you're in a tail press. You lean forward, you're in a nose press. That's kind of how it is with this thing. So for those of you that are just starting out with buttering, this is a great option. And when it comes to jibbing, it locks into nose and tail presses the same way. You just put your weight a little forward, a little backwards, and you're in that press, but you still get a little bit of spring out the end of the feature. When you do go sideways, if you're trying to land between the feet, you've got to fight that bend of the reverse camber. You're gonna notice right away that it just, it'll kind of bend and kick you out to your tail or your nose, depending on where your weight is. So just be aware of that. It doesn't clap out, but it definitely contours right around the feature. So you gotta be aware that if you're coming down, this is gonna have a ton of give as well. It's just between the feet, it fights you a little bit. With this board being reverse camber with magnet traction, it steers underfoot. So your ankle movements are gonna dictate how you carve on this board. And it does have a quick and nimble edge-to-edge -edge power transmission, but if you're trying to be more powerful, you can get it to kick out. It's one of those boards that, yes, it will lock in and you're gonna be able to turn and it's gonna do tight, quick setup turns and medium mellow carves really well, but when you try to really drive it from the back foot, you're pushing into that center reverse, you're over flexing the board, you're probably gonna get it to kick out if you're super aggressive. If you're just starting out with riding and you're still learning how to do that, you'll probably be fun. So it's one of those things where if you're being super assertive and it's kicking out, turn it down a notch or two, you'll totally be fine. And if you're just starting out and you don't feel it's engaging, turn it up a notch or two, and then you'll be able to turn it. But just remember, it's gonna steer directly underfoot. Who's this board for? The progressing beginner or the low level intermediate? 
that just wants to get better and needs just a little power out of their board. Not a lot, just a little bit of power to get them to the next level. So the crazy thing about this board is it feels like the old GNU money when it was BTX. That's just how it rides. It's very skate-like in its approach. It's easy to engage. It's playful. It's just a forgiving board. It's just something that most people that are starting out or they're a low level intermediate, they're progressing, they're doing a little bit of freestyle, they're trying to butter, they're doing that, are gonna have a great time with. It's not a mind blowing board by any stretch of the imagination, but it gets the job done. You never really have to worry about it. Comparable boards, the Rome Gangplank, the Arbor Westmark Rocker, the Ride Agenda, Binding Recommendations, the Bent Metal Joint, the Rome Vice, the Ride C6. This has been my review of the GNU GWO. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.